We've seen a fantastic growth of the PE market over the past two decades and Luxembourg has been at the forefront of this evolution. As PE houses were booming, they started diversifying from traditional buyouts to new areas such as debt, infrastructure and real estate. Today PE remains an extremely dynamic market, also fueled by family offices, pension funds and insurance, which are taking advantage of the higher returns offered by the PE industry compared to other more traditional investments. As we all know, there's a lot of dry powder in the market, and for funds it's not always easy to source investments. With more and more funds coming to maturity, we see that many players decide to keep the assets under their management instead of divesting and go for rollover funds and GP-led secondaries. Indeed, and we also noted a pause in the transactions at the beginning of the pandemic. Both factors combined led to an incredibly high level of m and activity. In a new hybrid environment between digital and physical presence, P actors need to join forces and be more innovative in order to secure the deals, which explains the recent outburst of consortium-led deals and SPACs. ESG is both a differentiator and a catalyst. For fast adopters who have integrated ESG properly in their investment process, it's a differentiator from competitors, especially now that there's much clearer guidance on the taxonomy. Greenwashing should soon be a topic of the past. It's also a catalyst because it makes the PE industry rethink the way they do business and how they operate their strategies. In that sense, it's a real game changer.